You're watching Screw It on Supple Wine. I'm your host, Mike Supple. I have two problems when it comes to tasting a whole lot of wines, whether it's in the office or out driving around seeing a bunch of different wineries. The two problems are dehydration and my palate going dead, not being able to taste everything I want to taste. The first seems like a pretty simple fix. If you're tasting a lot of wines, alcohol tends to dehydrate you. You just want to make sure you drink a lot of water. The second issue, the issue of your palate getting tired and fatigued and dead, that's caused by just having a lot of wine in there, a lot of sugar in some of the wines, a lot of tannins in the wines, it really coats your mouth and sort of starts working your tongue so you can't really taste everything that you want to anymore. And that's a bigger issue because there's not necessarily a quick fix to take care of that. Two Cal Poly wine and viticulture students decided to tackle this problem, so they invented Santasti, which is a sparkling beverage designed to cleanse your palate, basically to make everything taste just like it would as if it was the first thing you were tasting. So, I can tell you a little bit more about this uh, later, but I really just wanted to get into trying it and see what it's all about. Now, they recommend to really show what it is and what it does to have two wines, a light white wine and a heavy tannic red wine. That way you can see and go back and forth and see if you can really taste what it is or if it really helps refresh and cleanse your palate. I've taken that one step further, give it more, a little bit more of a rigorous trial, and I've gone with an aromatic white wine. I get the 2008 Nabilo Icon Sauvignon Blanc from Marlboro, New Zealand, which is a very bright, fresh, very aromatic white wine, very light in body. And then we went with the red wine, went with the Ramos Pinto Collector Port. Now, the reason this is taking it up a notch here is because port has a lot of alcohol, a lot of sugar, and a lot of tannins. Now, all three of those things really work in conjunction to wreck your palate, particularly if you go from a wine with a lot of sugar to a wine that doesn't have really any tasteable sugar. Generally the white wine, like this, and this, if I taste the red first and the white second, it's going to make the white wine taste kind of bitter and sour because of how much sugar we got going on in there. So I'm curious to see what happens. So following the Santasti recommended procedure, I'm going to start by getting a baseline, taste the white wine, see what that tastes like by itself. Very fragrant, very aromatic, got a lot of, uh, sort of fresh tomato vine, some lemongrass clippings, but a lot of ripe ruby grapefruit going on in there. Okay, so I've got my baseline. It tastes a lot like the aromas. It's very fresh, very crisp, but pretty light body. So this this port's definitely gonna overpower it. But it's got that ruby grapefruit flavor. It's got a it's got some lighter hints in the background too that I can taste. Almost notes of some maybe passion fruit. Uh, again, the, definitely the grass in there. Maybe a little flinty note. So it'll be, be interesting to see how much we had a pick of that after the uh, the red wine. So now we'll try out the port. You can smell, smell a lot of alcohol in there, and it smells sweet. It's a pretty heavy, dense wine, just from the aromas. I mean, you can see in that color, and that's a, that's a pretty thick wine. Coating the glass, again, that's part of the sugar, part of the alcohol. I really swished it around in my mouth to make sure I coated my entire mouth, because... I'm getting a big drying feeling. There's a lot of tannins in there. It's really drying on my tongue, back of my mouth, the top of my mouth. Um, it's a nice port. You know, it's got a lot of alcohol, but it's pretty well balanced. There's a lot of really dark fruit. Got some blackberries, black cherries. It has some toasted oak flavors. It's got some dark chocolate in the background. A lot of sugar, but good acid. So as a wine itself, it's pretty well balanced. Now that I got, to, actually, I just want to recoat my mouth here. Just get it real fresh. Get a lot of tannins and sugar in there. All right, well, that's pretty coated. I'm gonna go back to the white wine here, see what this is all about. It still smells good. Yeah, swish that all around. Now, I can definitely still taste the wine. I can feel it's definitely feels lighter in my mouth, but really. All that I could really taste that time around was the herbal qualities. It had some nice fresh lemongrass, which tastes good in the Sauvignon Blanc, but by itself it seemed kind of one-dimensional. I'm not really getting any lingering flavors at all, kind of sort of died quickly. I've still got that heavy kind of port feeling sitting in the back there. And actually, it turned that uh, ruby, fresh ripe ruby grapefruit and those tropical passion fruit notes into more of like a white grapefruit bitter, I guess, pith or rind kind of 
flavor. So it's you know, definitely, it, it still tastes like a good wine, but not as fresh and, and delicious as it was the first time around. So now what they recommend doing, going back to the red, recoating my palate in those tannins and sugars and alcohol. Cool. All right, that's pretty well coated. Even though I'm spitting here because I want to taste and I don't want to really absorb the alcohol, there's enough alcohol in that port that I can start to feel it. I'm feeling the burn in my tongue and my mouth is just absorbing that. So I'm getting a lot of, you know, there's just a lot of thick, inky flavors going on in my mouth right now. So I'm going to try some sound tasty here and see what that does. So bubbles a little bit. And it's, it's lightly sparkling. It's supposed to be about half the carbonation of uh, regular sparkling water. That way you, just, you don't get too many bubbles really interfering with your mouth and overpowering what you're doing. Yeah, it's a very light sparkle. You know what? This honestly doesn't really taste like anything. I know it's got a little bit of sugar in there, a little bit of citric acid, but really I can't taste a whole lot, which is a good thing when you're tasting wine because I don't want that interfering with the flavors of my wine. But the bubbles, I mean, the bubbles do seem, you know, just, they feel a little fresher. They sort of seem to be waking my mouth a little bit. But yeah, I mean, my mouth does seem, it, it feels a little less heavy than it did right before I hit that port. That's actually, the Santasti does seem to be doing what it's supposed to be doing there. It's, it's um, yeah, I don't have that drying sensation on my tongue anymore. It seemed to uh, pull the tannins away. It feels, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't just feel tight and dry like when you drink tea that's too oversteeped or you just had too much red wine. Don't have that heavy sugar cloying feeling anymore. But let's see, uh, when I go back to the white wine now, see if it makes any difference in the flavors. That is really interesting. Honestly, I, that actually really does bring back that ruby grapefruit. It really brings out the fruit. Um, again, it's still a light-bodied wine, so it doesn't change that, but it allows me to feel the whole wine. I'm actually getting some lingering flavors, too. It's not just that bitterness competing with the, uh, the sugar from, from the port there. That's actually pretty impressive. It, uh, it, it does a pretty good job. So head on over to Santasti.com, try a couple samples, Set up your own little experiment here and see what it's all about for yourself. As if you're really all about trying to enjoy your wine as much as you can on whatever level that is, this is going to help you do that. It's going to refresh you. It's going to make you feel good. You don't have to worry about what order you're tasting your wines in. Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right? Throw that all out the window. It doesn't matter. Taste some wines. Have fun. Have some Santasti. Stay hydrated. Just do what you want to do.